Hi everyone, we are going to do a molarity of a hydrate problem. Some details in this problem. Uh, it comes from the G-Main exam, August 31st, 2021, the 9 a.m. test. It's question number 15. They're talking about molarity. Uh, and here's what they give us. 6.3 grams of an oxalic acid dihydrate, all right, is dissolved in 250 mils of water. Now they write water, we are going to assume that that is a water solution, okay? That that's going to be our solution. Um, they want to know what's the molarity uh, if x is this times 10 to the minus 2, and they want us to find the value of x. So a little review on molarity. So molarity, capital M, is moles of the solute, which is going to be our oxalic acid dihydrate, and liters of the solution, which is the 250 mils. All we have to do is get the right units for the solute and the solution. Let's divide it. Uh, so we have the 6.3 grams of oxalic acid dihydrate. We're going to bring that to moles. Look at this molar mass. I'll show you how to get that. Bring it to moles. I have my moles of the uh, hydrate. That's what's going to go up here for the moles of the solute. Then I take my 250 mils, divide that by 1,000 mils in one liter. It gives us 0.25 liters. So I put that there for my liters. Let's put it together. We have got the molarity. Um, it's going to be moles. The, my answer, 0 0.04998 moles, divided by the volume of the solution, 0.25 and we get 0.19999. Now they gave us two sig figs here, so we report it to two sig figs. That would be my molarity, but look at what they wanted. They wanted molarity times 10 to the minus two. So if we move this decimal two places to the right, we're going to get 20 times 10 to the minus two. That means X will equal 20, nice. Now, you might be looking at this molar mass and saying, how did you get the molar mass? Let me review this quickly for hydrates, another detail of this particular question. Um, so I'm going to write down my two hydrogens, two carbons, four oxygen. You know how to do that. Here's the part that might be a little confusing for you. That dot right there tells us that it's a hydrate compound. The water is just going to attach like a ligand onto that oxalic acid. Um, and so what I do, the easiest way for me to do molar mass of hydrates, I take the water, the number of those water molecules, and multiply it by the molar mass of water, which is 18.02. Now, if you don't know how to get the molar mass of water, I did work it down here for you. Your two hydrogens times 1.01, one oxygen times 16, add it up, 18.02. There it is. So if you multiply and add everything, here's your molar mass for the hydrate. Molarity, pretty easy, but they brought in two details of using a hydrate, be careful on your molar mass, and reporting X um, as molarity times 10 to the minus two. Just watch those details. Always, professors love the details. Have a wonderful day. So proud of you and good luck on your test. Thanks.